Good Friday evening to you, Richard Scott here with your local forecast update. Finally feeling like football weather across Alabama. Temperatures certainly a lot cooler compared to recent days. In fact, much of this week had record-breaking warm temperatures. Now we are a lot cooler. So let's check it out. Temperatures today only topping out in the low 70s. And keep in mind, much of this week we topped out in the upper 80s to low 90s. So that is definitely a big change. Look at Haleyville and Coleman only topping out in the mid 60s this afternoon on this Friday. Certainly a pleasant day. No rain on radar. Dry continental air moving back in with that north wind. Been quite breezy today. Winds gusting upwards about 25 to 30 miles per hour. And that has certainly been a blustery day with that north wind uh, due to that tight pressure gradient across the southeast, including Alabama. Unfortunately, we still need the rain really bad. We have major rainfall deficits across the state, over one foot in Anniston, approaching 10 inches behind the Tuscaloosa. That's how much rain we'd have to have right now just to catch us up to average for this time of the year. Even Montgomery, quite a deficit there, over 7 inches in Montgomery and Birmingham. We do have extreme to exceptional drought conditions across much of east Alabama and central Alabama. Alabama, uh, West Alabama between about severe and extreme drought conditions. And keep in mind the top of the scale is exceptional drought and we have that across portions of East Alabama. Unfortunately, the drought will only get worse. No organized rain chance for the next seven days. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. This is for Saturday. We'll top out in the low 70s. Still a little bit of a north wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not near as breezy as today, though. Expect a full dose of sunshine. Cool start to tomorrow morning. Saturday morning around 7 o'clock, low 40s. That will certainly be a chilly start to the day. Here's our forecast model. Northwest wind becoming north overnight about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping back at low 40s, few upper 30s possible, and some of the typical cooler locations. And tomorrow, we only top out in the upper 60s to low 70s. Uh, depending on where you live, temperatures will touch 70 in some spots. And then tomorrow night, temperatures back in the upper 30s to low 40s. Now, here's the big football game happening. Everybody talking about the Bama Texas A&M game in Bryant Denny on Saturday. 2.30 kickoff. Lots of sunshine, beautiful weather. That's going to be absolutely gorgeous for football. We'll be back in the low to mid 60s to wrap up the game. So after the game ends, though, in Broad Diddy, once it sunsets, it's going to get chilly in a hurry. Auburn taking on Arkansas down at Jordan Hare Stadium. Temperatures in the upper 60s at the 5 o'clock kickoff, upper 50s to wrap up things Saturday evening in Lee County down to Jordan Hare Stadium and Talladega Race Weekend. Check it out over in East Alabama tonight. Lows in the low 40s. Saturday, Sunday, lots of sunshine. will be in the low 70s. Saturday, mid to upper 70s on Sunday. No weather conditions in terms of weather problems this weekend. We'll stay totally sunny through Monday. A little bit warmer by Monday and Tuesday. We're in the upper 70s to near 80. Same deal for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And the rain chance next seven days, little to nothing. In fact, the best chance for rain will occur on Thursday. Only that is just a 10% chance for a quick sprinkle or shower. Have another cold front, but more sure with that system looks very limited. Overnight lows come up just a little bit back in the low 50s by Monday night and Tuesday night.